Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this video, we are going to see current affairs of 6th August 2023. So let's get started with our discussion and let us try to see brief introduction regarding the topics. So first topic we are going to discuss it is about Chandrayaan 3 in lunar orbit. So here you have to focus on what is this Chandrayaan 3 and what are the possible advantages of this Chandrayaan 3 and why we need to have this type of lunar missions. So these are the some important things that you have to do research. So please let me know what are the significant benefits of this Chandrayaan 3 and you have to see what are the earlier missions which are undertaken by ISRO regarding this lunar explorations. So please let me know answers for these two questions in the comment box. And this topic is important from your science and technology which comes under your GS paper 3. Okay, so here you can get both mains and also prelims based question from this topic. And next topic is clouded leopards play hide and seek in woods. So whenever any species that you are seeing in news, so that will be becoming important from UPSC point of view. But why? But why? Why? Because for your forest officer, that is Indian Forest Service also you will be having same prelims. So prelims is same but mains is different. So for that purpose, you will be getting around 20 questions in your prelims from your environment and ecology. So environment and ecology which is a very important subject for your prelims. So here there is a there might be a statements regarding this clouded leopards. So already earlier in your UPSC prelims, so there were a number of times UPSC asked a question regarding the species which is present in news. So from that point of view you have to know the facts regarding this clouded leopard. So this topic is important from your environment and ecology which comes in your GS paper 3. And next topic is cooler past. So recently one study had done. So this study which is says that in medieval period. So if you are comparing with the medieval period and now in this 21st century there is a lot of temperature difference. That means there is increasing of global temperature is seen if you are comparing with medieval period and now. So here you have to see where this study was done. So this study was done by using tree rings. So what are these tree rings? So have you ever seen whenever the tree or trunk of a tree stuck down or cut down? So whenever for example let us consider this is a trunk of the tree and if you cut down here like this so you will be seeing some rings. So these rings are called as annual rings. These rings are called as what? That is annual rings. So here because of this annual rings presence, so here researchers, scientists, they studied this annual rings and they said that yes, there is a lot of temperature increase when you are comparing with the medieval period till now. So here we have to go to see what is that study and here you have to understand so how this flora and fauna is helpful to understand the climate change because if you see there are some animals which is having like lifespan will be like more than 200 years, 300 years for some animals, not all animals, right? So if you are studying the generations, then we can easily understand and we can easily estimate so how the climate to be at that time and how the climate is changing in these generations. Okay, so whenever generations are going on, so how this climate change is happening? And if you are talking about trees, trees also like that itself. So in the trees, we will be having annual rings. So this annual ring says that normally after one year or every two years, so one ring will be formed based on the growth of that tree. So in this way here, based on the number of annual rings, we can estimate the age of that tree. So this is the one practical method which is used to study the age of the tree. So in the same way by using this annual rings, so now researchers they find out yes there is climate change yes there is global warming this is evident and next topic is tropical trees of the same species grow fast go farther apart so here you have to see what is this tropical climate what is the temperate climate and what is tundra type of climate so if you see the globe so here we will be having equator right so above that we will be having 23 and a half degree north Below that 23 and a half degree south 
and above this 23 and a half degree north we will be having 66 and a half degree north and finally 90 degrees north so this 90 degrees north is called as north pole so the area between this 23 and a half degree north and 23 and a half degree south so this will comes under this tropic region so why this tropic region yes if you see this is sun so from sun we will be getting direct sun rays will be falling on this tropical region and if you see in this poles and temperate region we will be having slanting sun rays so the temperature will be comparatively uh, less when we are comparing with this tropical region right so in this tropical region so what will happen so temperature will be high that means we can see more heat and we can see low pressure area is formed here so these are some facts so here you have to see what is this tropical evergreen climate or tropical evergreen forest so you have to see some characteristics so this topic is important from your environment and ecology which comes under your gs paper 3 and even this tropical green forest or evergreen forest so this is also comes under your natural vegetation in your geography as well so you can connect this topic from both geography and as well as your environment and ecology and next topic is in TB detection, smear microscopy shared still holds sway. So here we have to focus on this TB, this tuberculosis. So here you have to see which organism is causing this tuberculosis. So your homework is what is this TB? So whether it is a bacterial infection or whether it is a viral infection. So which organism is causative or causing this TB? So please let me know in the comment box. And whether there is a treatment for this TB or not. So if present, so what are the first line drugs and what are the second line drugs? And what is this multi-drug resistance TB? So all these things are in the news. Right? And this topic is absolutely important from your science and technology. Which comes under GS paper 3. And next topic is enzyme identified as potential antibiotic, anti-diabetic target. So here you know that in diseases, we have communicable disease and we have non-communicable disease. So we have communicable and we have non-communicable. So communicable means whenever there is communication is happening between the two persons. So one will be your patient obviously and another will be the normal healthy patient. So with this patient, whenever this normal, pa normal person who is coming in the contact, like whenever they are talking or whenever they are shaking hands or whenever they are having the hug or whenever they are having even kisses so what happened this disease will be transmitting easily to that person such type of disease are called communicable disease for example your coronavirus and even cold that will be spread easily from one person to another person and next one is non-communicable disease Non-communicable means even you are having the communication, there is no chance of transmitting of disease from one person to another person. For example, diabetes, for example, hypertension, any organ damage and whenever there is any malfunction in your organs like even cancer and whenever there is liver damage, kidney damage, lung disease, so that will be not transmitted from one person to another person. So, if you see here, this diabetes will come under non-communicable disease. So, here in our gut, gut means from your mouth to the anus. So, this part will become under your gut. So, in our GIT, that is the gastrointestinal system, we will be having microorganisms, millions of microbes. They are present in your gut area. Some bacteria will be producing enzymes. So these enzymes they will be having antibacterial target. So this gut bacteria which is also very helpful for uh, our secretion of vitamin K. So let me know what is this vitamin K. So what is the name of this vitamin K also. So they will be producing vitamin K and they will be helpful in absorption and they will be helpful in the fastening of digestion and even they are also having this anti-diabetic target. So this topic is important from your science and technology which comes under GS paper 3. 
so this is a brief introduction regarding this topics and now let, let us see very fastly regarding this analysis and today is sunday so there is no editorial so just we have to see important articles which are uh, from our upsc prelims and mains point of view so first topic it is about chandrayaan 3 already number of times we discussed this topic so let us fastly have a look and this video will be short already it is late so sorry for the inconvenience okay and if you see the context it says that isro that is indian space research organization completed the lunar orbit insertion okay that means nothing but till now here this chandrayaan used to uh, revolve around the earth and now what happened so we went into now this uh, this chandrayaan which entered into this orbit and it is now orbiting around the moon so this is the highlights of this chandrayaan 3 so what are the details so this lunar orbit insertion so which is commenced at 7 pm and, and this is performed by isro telemetry tracking and command network which mainly gave some details so finally here this Chandrayaan 3 has successfully inserted into lunar orbit. Now it is going to orbit around the moon. It is a natural satellite of earth. So what is the Chandrayaan 3? So Chandrayaan 3 is also called as moon craft. So what is it? It is also called as moon craft. And this Chandrayaan 3 is a planned third lunar exploration. So before this Chandrayaan 3 we had Chandrayaan 2. So we had Chandrayaan. But this Chandrayaan 2 is a failed mission. But Chandrayaan 1 is success. So we got some important details of moon because of this Chandrayaan mission. So let me know what are the details that we found with this first lunar mission. Okay, don't forget about this. And here this Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 3 which is having the capability of soft landing. So if you are having the soft landing, India will be the fourth country to have this technology of soft landing on moon surface and Chandrayaan 3 interplanetary mission which has three major modules so what are the modules we have we have propulsion module we have lander and rover so these are the some important facts regarding this Chandrayaan 3 and next topic is clouded leopards play hide and seek in woods so here the image that you can see that is clouded leopard so here why it is in use so, two scientists from Wildlife Institute of India, that is WII, which have founded that clouded leopard in western Assam's Manas National Park and Tiger Reserve, they seem to play a mysterious game of hide and seek in tropical canopy forest. So, in tropical, tropical canopy, canopy means nothing but we will be having different trees of different sizes. So, this is called as canopy. So, where we can see this canopy? We can see this canopy in tropical evergreen forest. So, in evergreen forest, we can see this canopy. So, if you are talking about details, it says that the clouded leopards are basically in ninjas of the forest. And they are very much famous for their agility and their strength. So, this uh, tigers or this clouded leopards they are categorized into two species so we have two species so first one is mainland first one is mainland clouded leopard and this mainland clouded leopard is seen from central nepal to peninsular malaysia and next one is sunda clouded leopard so first one is mainland and next one is sunda clouded leopard and where is Sunda clouded leopard is seen? In Borneo and as well as in Sumatra. So in these two areas we can see this Sunda clouded leopard. But normally we are having this uh, mainland clouded leopard which is seen from central Nepal till the peninsular Malaysia. So here if you are talking about this mainland clouded leopard, it is tagged as vulnerable on IUCN red list. So, it is also having the high risk of extinction in wild because of some threats. So, what are the threats? The first one is deforestation. So, because of this deforestation that will lead to habitat loss and even poaching. So, if you are talking about some facts regarding this clouded leopard. 
So it is named after cloud because of shaped pattern which is present on the skin of this thigh of this leopard. And it is, uh, it is also listed as vulnerable on IUCN red list. And this tiger is also or this leopard is also the state animal of Meghalaya and has been added to India's recovery program for critically endangered species as well. And if you are talking about habitat where we can see this clouded leopard. So we can see in grasslands, we can see in shrubs, subtropical and even dense tropical forest and it is seen in Himalayan foothills through mainland Southeast Asia to China and in India also we can see them in Sikkim, Northwest Bengal and Meghalayan subtropical forest, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur, Assam, Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh and actually this clouded leopard presence is positively related to dense forest cover. It says that, it shows that yes there is dense forest cover and there is high rainfall and also hard terrain and low human presence. So because of this human presence it will be posing threat because of human animal conflict. And what are the factors that are leading to this uh, di distribution of this uh, clouded leopards? The first and the foremost thing here is so there is deforestation this is affecting the distribution of this clouded leopards. And even because of this changing of rainfall patterns that will be also having the negative impact. And even human animal conflict and developmental projects, they are the some important factors that are affecting this clouded leopard distribution. So now let us try to see next topic, it is about cooler past. So here if you see the context, it says that by analysis of tree rings, that is annual rings in the tree trunk records from Phenoscandia. So Phenoscandia region in northern Europe from past 1170 years. So finally this study suggests that yes there is climate change which is evident and there is increasing of global temperature. There is increasing of global temperature and there is warmer temperature if you are comparing with medieval period. So when you are comparing with the medieval period now there is increased temperature that is seen. So this is about this study. So here this is about this study. So actually this uh, study which mainly recorded the past climate between 850 and 2019 in Fenoscandia and researchers they analyzed 1170 years of tree ring data which is based on 50 million wood cell measurements. So this is about this topic that's it nothing more nothing less. And next topic is tropical trees of the same species grow faster apart. So this article is very important because you have to refer about tropical rainforest or tropical evergreen forest. And as I said this topic is important from GS paper 1 under geography and GS paper 3 under environment and ecology. So now let us try to see this topic in detail. So if you see context it says that tropical trees distance themselves from members of their own species more than they do other species a new study shows. So here this article says that recently scientists they did the study and this study which said that tropical trees, trees which are present in this tropical biome, so they have the distance, so they have to maintain the distance. Why? Because yes there will be the big trees and there will be the small trees, so all trees they need to get proper sunlight. So because of this in tropical trees, so the distance between the trees will be very high. I am not talking about plants, I am talking about trees. Okay. So the detail says that trees of same species exist at distance and they are farther apart than would be expected by chance or the limits of the seed dispersal. So here the issue is the trees when we are seeing the same species, so they are present at a distance apart from each other. So results they reveal that pervasive within the species spatial repulsion in adult trees provide the new insights into ecological dynamics. So to understand this so you can take a magnet so in the magnet we will be having north pole and south pole. So 
so whenever we are taking the north pole and north pole together so what happens so like sides or like poles repel okay like poles repel and unlike poles attract so unlike poles attracts and like poles repels so in the same way what happens so whenever we are having the same piece of tree together with the less distance means so there will be the repelling happening so because of this study which mainly showed some light regarding the ecological dynamics so how we are uh, maintaining the species diversity okay in this tropical forest so here now let us try to see some facts regarding this tropical evergreen forest so we're talking about this tropical evergreen forest they are dominant part of natural vegetation in india and they are flourish in the areas which are having the rainfall so rainfall is very important for this evergreen forest and the rainfall should be at least more than 200 centimeters and if you're talking about some facts so here the tropical wet evergreen forest in india they are usually find areas which are receiving more than 200 centimeters of rainfall and what is the temperature so temperature will be around 15 to 30 degrees centigrade and they occupy about 7 percentage of earth surface and they are found mostly near equator so where they are present near equator because in equator so there will be conventional rainfall so what is this conventional rainfall what is this conventional rainfall so please let me know and they have the spades under growth inter, uh, interspersed with clearings and even they have a scarce presence of litter and even if you see there is uh, nothing like organic matter will be also very less in this uh, area and these forests they are very much dense and we can see there is multi-layered so multi-layered means nothing but so it is nothing but canopy so they harbor many types of plants and we can see many types of animals that is rich in flora and fauna. So forests they constitute an important part of environment and ecology. So trees, these trees they are an important component of forest biology and ecosystem. So it will be very much helpful for promoting of our environment. So this is about this topic. And now let us try to see the next topic. It is about TB detection. So here we are going to focus on TB. That is tuberculosis. And already I said you were homework, right? So don't forget to uh, do your homework. So if you see context, it says that according to World Health Organization Global TB Report, so it said that 40% of 10.6 million people globally they have developed TB in 2021 and they were not diagnosed till now. So 40% of TB patients, so they do not diagnose that they have TB. So if you're talking about details, it says that India along with Indonesia and Philippines, they accounted 67% of drop in the number of people with TB who had been diagnosed in 2020. So here because of this COVID-19 pandemic also, so what are the steps taken by the government? So they are not much, much efficient. And in India, the gap between the estimated number of people who develop TB and the number of newly diagnosed cases each year, which has been huge even prior to the pandemic. So we're talking about data here. According to the National TB Prevalence Survey in India, so in 2019-2021 report said that nearly 64% did not get tested for TB till now. So especially in India, so high number of cases are present in Kerala and as well as Haryana. So in Kerala, 46% in highest is seen in Haryana. So in India, we have like 46 to 88 percentage of cases. So what are the steps taken by government of India that comes under India's efforts? So India came up with, uh, that is government of India came up with the national TB elimination program and this program which is having a goal of ending TB pandemic by 2025 and it is ahead of five years for achieving this sustainable development goals and sustainable development goals target year is 2030. So we also have this national statistic plan or strategic plan or tuberculosis elimination so we came up the year is 2017 to 2025 
एंड वी हैव निक्षय इको सिस्टम सो निक्षय पोषण योजना टी बी हारेगा देश जीतेगा कैंपेन तो दीज ऑफ द कैंपेन स्केम अप बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अमॉन्ग द पीपल रिगार्डिंग दिस टी बी एंड करेंटली दर टू वैक्सीन दट इज वैक्सीन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट थाउजेंड टू एंड एम आई पी दट इज माइक्रो बैक्टीरियम इंडिकस प्लानी सो दे हैव बीन डेवलप्ड एंड आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर टी बी एंड अंडर फेज थ्री क्लिनिकल ट्रेल्स सो वी हैव दिस निक्षय पोषण योजना सो अंडर दिस निक्षय पोषण योजना इट प्रोवाइड्स रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड सपोर्ट थ्रू डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर टू द पेशेंट्स एंड इवन वी हैव दिस आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल हेल्थ मिशन सो हेयर द गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑल्सो फोकस्ड ऑन यूटिलाइजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इवन क्रिएटिंग द डिजिटल हेल्थ आई डी कार्ड्स एंड ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो टी बी पेशेंट्स दे कम्स अंडर दिस आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल हेल्थ मिशन एंड दैट विल इंश्योर द प्रॉपर डायग्नोस्टिक्स एंड ट्रीटमेंट सो दीज ऑल दम इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू डिक्रीज द टी बी केसेस and if you're talking about the next article it is talking about enzyme identified as potential anti diabetic target so here you have to know some facts regarding this diabetes so diabetes is a condition in our blood we can see there is increased blood sugar level so this article is important from your gs paper 3 under science and technology so now let us try to see this topic in detail so the host delivered dpp4 so here the enzyme here is dpp4 which is an important therapeutic target for type 2 diabetes management so for the management of this type 2 diabetes so you may ask a question like so how many types of diabetes is there so we have type 1 we have type 2 and we have gestational diabetes so gestational is separate case that means during the pregnancy women will be getting this diabetes mellitus and after once delivery is done so she will become normal right but this type 1 means there will be less production of insulin hormone in type 2 we will be having insulin resistance that means so enough insulin is produced in the body but that insulin is not absorbed or not taken by the cells so that that will leads to increasing of blood glucose levels so you may ask one question like so what is the function of insulin so insulin will be converting converting the glucose which is present in the blood to glycogen glycogen is a stored form of glucose so whenever there is decrease insulin means so there will be decrease conversion of glucose into glycogen that means so in urine there will be high glucose level or oh, sorry in the blood there will be high glucose level and even the urine also we can see high glucose level so if we talking about the details it says that gut microbacteria or gut microbiota Ha, may also contribute to this DPP four like activity in the host. So here because of this, what happens? So it will be having anti diabetic action. So researchers they developed a platform to investigate microbial host isozymes from humans and mouse bacteria, that is microbacteria, and they identify this DPP four, which is expressed by specific bacterial right species, which is present in our gut. so this is about this topic and here you have to see some facts regarding this diabetes mellitus so please let me know some facts regarding this diabetes mellitus in the comment box and now let us try to see a small announcement so this announcement it is regarding daily mains answering practice so if you want to clear this upsc so one thing you have to focus is improving of answering skills and let me know how many of you are writing answers daily in the comment box So, if you are not writing answers daily, then you will be out of race. So, try to ensure that at least you are writing one answer per day, so that you can improve your answering skills. So, to boost confidence in you and to help you to clear this UPSC, we have this course daily mains answering course, and this is for one year. So, it will be help for both beginners and also the students who gave their attempts. So, here in this course, we are coming up with the detailed schedule for next one year. and here it covers gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 along with the essay and case study and we provide model answer for each and every question and detailed evaluation of answers that you wrote and we are also having the live doubt clearing sessions on every sunday as well so if you want to join this course you can visit our website rathorsisacademy.com and there you can see this courses that we are offering and apart from that if you want to talk to me directly regarding your doubts 
you can call me on this number 8074765513 and this is also whatsapp number and telegram number and you can also text me there so this is about this course and the cost is 8200 it is very very affordable so come and join and if you want to talk to me on live so you can join this course so this course will provide you an opportunity to see me online okay so now let us try to see the today hindu newspaper pdf so this is our today's hindu date is august 6 and today is sunday so first topic it is about chandrayaan 3 in lunar orbit i discussed this topic and already i said about your homework right and next topic is clouded leopards play hide and seek in woods so go through this article once and if you move on you can see 23 still missing after gauri kund land slip so here you have to see this gauri kund which is located in uttarakhand and this topic is at most important because uh, this landslip and landslides they comes under our syllabus of geography and next if you move on you can directly see this editorial page so before this editorial page we also have in the states page you can see 130 year old palace in kerala to be declared as a monument So here you can see one more article that is decision on article 370 paved way for peace in Jammu and Kashmir and this topic is important because here you can see about this article 370 and next one is organ shortage continues to cost lives so this article is very important because of this organ transplant it is leading to the improving of our lives but because of this organ shortage about 3 lakh patients they wait for organs and finally what happened so because of this uh, there are less number of people who are volunteers of their organs then what happened there is a decreasing of life expectancy and next topic it is wildfire on Spain France border and local people they moved so this article is also very important and next topic it is from science page that is 340 ton whale species lived 39 million years ago so whenever we are getting this type of animals so that will be helpful for future studies and next one is in tb detection a smear microscopy share still holds sway so i discuss this topic and next one is topical teas of uh, same species grow farther apart i discuss this topic and if you move on here you can see this article regarding cooler past i discussed this topic and there is no need of reading this article of all so these are the some important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper so by this i'm concluding and if you really like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to rathor science academy and please do share and like the video please share this video to your friends that's what we are expecting from you nothing more and nothing less yeah, by this I'm concluding. Thank you so much.